Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the third video uh, of our 8-rack um, journey in modern. It's been about a week and a half, I think, since I did the last the last lot of videos. Um, I've made a couple of small changes, very small changes. I've added an extra field of ruin uh, over <coughs> the fourth Mutavolt and swapped out uh, one Inquisition over for a thought season uh, from sideboard and main. Apart from that, it's exactly the same uh, configuration. Uh, that we saw last time. So what are we going to do here? Wrench mine, dismember, and affliction, and not not much else. Urborg turns on the rest of our stuff. I'm going to keep Ur on the side of more lands. Okay, and I think we'll be happy enough just to. Uh, just to kill those birds. Start us off. Wrench Mind gets a little bit better uh, as his hand starts to shrink. And with that in mind, uh, I think actually it's Inquisition here. Thank goodness <laughs> he has a target, so... Uh, Knight of the Reliquy, and then four lands. Um, hmm. Do I want to field a mute? I think it's just Muta Vault for now. And Affliction. Scavenging is and a forest. Okay, no problemo. Okay, so. I don't think it matters much which order we do this in. Raven's Crime is a really good draw there. Don't think he has any artifacts in this deck. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, of course, he can do that. That's cool. So the crime is gone. We don't have that birds. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we just ate the birds to get a bit bigger. Ate Knight of the Reliquy to get a bit bigger. That's been a pretty important ability. Okay, what can we do? So, I think we race. Obviously, if I draw a rack effect... Um, this gets significantly better for me. Liliana, Smallpox, there's a whole pile of really good cards I can draw, Dismember. Um, and I've got like three or four chances to, to do that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's not going to do anything. If he draws a creature, though, that's also good for him. So he can chump Muta Vault with the birds. That matters. And then his... Ooze will get bigger after uh, after that chumping has happened. Okay, so we do need to find something relevant. Oh. So it's a two-turn clock anyway. So whether he's a whether he's a four-four or a five-five. Probably shouldn't have played that land, doesn't matter now. He let it through, okay. That's actually probably quite sensible. Um, it's a good way to defend against smallpox. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I think we're just dead now. That's unlucky. Wow. Uh, how does he do this? Sacrifices something to get bigger. I don't really want him to gain the one life, actually, off the ooze, either. So it might be better to dismember the ooze when the time comes. Just do that instead. I can still top-deck the rack here, actually, as well. Mm-hmm.
Yep. One time. Yes! <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. He's not got some life gain craziness, has he? Does this thing gain life when it happens? Oh, don't tell me he's got some kind of cathedral. <laughs> What's that thing that comes into play and tapped and gives you two life? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was really fun, actually. Um, okay, so... This deck feels like it wants land cards in the graveyard. Scavenging Oods loves things to be in the graveyard. So here comes my graveyard hate. I'm not going to desperately mill to find it. But, um, yeah, I think it's probably good that it's there. Bob seems kind of bad. I don't like him when he has no hope of getting through with his two damage. Um, does he have no hope here of getting through with his damage? I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm also looking at, obviously, World Wipe uh, as a thing. But the deck's not running Aether Vial, so I feel like Smallpox is better than than the World Wipe. So we'll go, we'll go, we'll do this. Oh, did I get away with one there, or did I play to my outs? I don't know. Oh, yes. Um, okay, we've got one. Yeah, I'm going to keep this, I think. Blackmail's... Yeah, it's. It, we need some help, but I'm going to keep this just because I really feel like... I really feel like he's going to really be unhappy to see this card. Him going to five is nothing we're too upset about either. Uh, yep, there we go. Do your worst. Yeah, we're just killing that. Oh, oh no, rage quit. Well, okay, sorry. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to make this fun for a, a fun watch, but I think the game one was a pretty fun watch. Um, I'm surprised that he rage quit there. This is a pretty good hand. His username is conf it like it wrecks the flow. <laughs> it's hard to follow. <clears throat> mm. This looks interesting. Uh, right, I think this hand plays itself. We're, we're thought season. I can't kill that noble hierarch, so... Oh, it's humans. Oh, my goodness. Oh, get ready for fun. Oh, this is horrendous. Okay, humans. No aether vial. There is a cavern. That doesn't affect us. Take the mage. I'm not sure if that's right. We'll find out. Sorry, I keep uh, coughing, everyone. A tickle in my throat here. Okay, there's the lieutenant as expected. She's just going to get in. So I think that's the best thing we could have hoped for. Um, yeah, wrench. Yikes. So next turn is he's got those are his three cards. So what we could do is. Just wrench, hope that he doesn't, you know, if he if he ditches his two lands, hope that he doesn't draw a, a, a fourth one. That's probably our best bet at this point. If we play Bob, he's going to have four creatures uh, with a 3-3, three, three, attacking as a 4-4, four, four, and, uh, you know, some other huge guys here. So I think if he draws a land here, he wins. Um, otherwise, we have a chance. Oh, hang on, what have I... Have I got it wrong? Reflector, Mage, and Cavern. Oh, and he's played the planes. Oh, sorry. And my wires crossed. So I think the maths are still the same. Draw a land to win the game. Okay. Didn't draw it. If he names Lily, he's in decent shape. Yeah. I 
I'll keep it simple. Um, so he's going to hit a land drop and win the game about 40% of the time. I think it's just there's too many awesome cards he can... Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm, I'm sailing by the breeze here. Um, okay, he missed land again. So, well, <laughs> all right. Small pox, okay. I won't jump because I'm looking for... in desperation for answers. Alright, Bob, be kind. <laughs> yeah, okay. And we'll just thin his deck a little bit here first before we cast uh, Wrench Mind. I I think I will switch to Bontu. Um And actually I mean there's an argument as well for um So which one am I gonna cast here? Smallpox or Lily? He's got other stuff. Sure, far out. That's all four of them we saw this game. It's not going to do it. Okay. Yep, so I think we do pivot over to, to uh, the very last reckoning that he ever reckoned. We go down on smallpox in order to accommodate that. Bob was bad there. Um, not quite what we want. We obviously want all of this. Um... More so than we want. Dismember, I think. Yeah. Okay. We'll go first. Now, well, I'll keep. It's a beautiful looking hand, if only we. Yeah, if, if we were in the dark and we didn't know who our opponent was, but. Uh... Who knows? We might draw into some good removal. All right, image champion. Oh, this guy. Is he the? Uh... Oh, cool. Uh, so I think it's just champion here. It's pretty obvious. Unclaimed. Nothing. Unclaimed nothing. So, I'll do this first. Slight thing on that, like in that he doesn't know that the Thoughties is coming, so you force him to guess a little bit in the dark as to what you're planning to do. Two buglers and an image. Oh, the bugler is value. I'll, I'll, I'll take a bugler uh, uh, and we'll see. There's almost nothing in his deck that he wouldn't be happy drawing. Okay. So I have... <laughs> he sacks it to Lily. Three cards in it now. Maybe I don't make him sack it. Maybe I, um... If I draw, say, another swamp, just make him discard three cards. Okay. One. Two. Mantis Rider. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> we've done our thing. We, we we've done what we was what we came here to do. So, oh, that stinks. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we may as well take the noble hierarch off him. And now we're just praying. 
humans is tough. Humans is tough. It's not over yet, though. We've got Bond 2 in our deck. We've still got some smallpox. Well, I don't think. Don't even think I'm gonna. Yeah, no, I'm not even gonna play it. Just in case. You know that would all that would continue to be true. I also thin my deck by pulling a swamp out of it. Probably should have done that on his upkeep or something. I think technically, but yeah, and that's why I should have done it on his upkeep. Ugh. Too good. It's got to be Bond 2. Gonna do um, much though from one life, I don't think. And that's kind of true, actually, of tribally, mid rangey sort of decks. So, tough one. But you got to take the good with the bad. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I think we'll keep this. Oh my goodness. Oh, field's useful. Wrench is bad. I almost wonder if we don't want to play wrench. Having a world breaker in the graveyards, no. Nothing bad for me either. He just has to sack a land to get it back. Yep. Sure. Uh, so, why don't we. Crime. It'd be interesting to see here if I mean he obviously he might not have Tron on turn three, and as a result, um, we might be able to field of ruin his party. Ruin his party is what I was trying to say. I mean, a very snappy, clever way, but didn't really come off that way. And it was part of the reason I wanted Field of Ruin. I wanted to try a two even in the main deck. I mucked around with three in the main deck. He's not doing it this turn. Okay, that's good. That's useful. Um, there it is. So he's got two mana to do what? What are you going to do? Nothing. Nada. So what should we do here? Should we empty his hand and risk him top-decking a Khan? I don't think so. No way. Not on your own life. I think we... We ruin his day. He went to find the mine, so that's the one I'll destroy. And then we, uh, we do some Raven's criming action. I need to do it all at sorcery speed because Raven's Crime is a sorcery. While we're ruining his day. Uh oh. Duh! Oh, he found a he found one. Oh, I hate Tron so bad. I hate it. I loathe Tron. That stank. That really stank. Um, we don't have a lot to bring in, really. We just need to hope that our stuff beats his stuff. Dismember's no good. 
So we switch into this. Okay. Not on a good run here. Mm. Well, uh, I don't think it's good. Smallpox isn't bad um, because it makes them s sacrifice a land. Um, I don't think I can support two without just dying myself, so I won't. I won't draw a second one. Um, if you go back, if you go down to absolute zero, he has no lands. You have no lands. Uh, he usually recovers faster. Uh, because of all the ridiculous <laughs> this stuff into a ancient stirrings into whatever um smallpox is pretty mean smallpox is pretty mean here discard raven's crime lose the smallpox lose that i've still got these two cards in hand yeah i think we're going to just fire it off raven's crime was a bad draw, but no worse than, say, a swamp. <laughs> yep. And then we just hope that Bob has what it takes. Spatial Contortion. I wonder why that was in the deck. Because he didn't see Bob. Why didn't you board those out, man? And there's one. Okay, makes green. Ancient stupid stirrings. Oh, okay. Always yield. Decent. Very decent. It's tempting to force him to discard two cards. Um, tempting to force him to discard two cards here, isn't it? Yeah, I think I play her. I just I'm not sure if. I... So hang on. So if I don't plus her, um, I have to discard this card to make him discard a card anyway. So if I if I do it by casting Raven's Crime, I haven't worked this out, but it might be that it's just not ever true that you should leave her on three there. No, I think no. I was no. Hang on. Yeah, you could have. I could have left her on three, and then made him discard an extra card by waiting for a whole extra turn. Which maybe was the right thing to do. Um, but the card, you know, he's got five in hand, so the stuff he's discarding isn't going to be that meaningful. We're hoping to kill him, but he, he'll probably still have a fistful of cards in his hand at the time we kill him. So, hmm. She's a long way from being oblivion ringed, oblivion uh, stoned. Still searching for land. He found it. Ah. Uh, uh, can you believe that? Can you believe in the position we're in with? Bo <laughs> Like, we're still probably going to lose this game. <laughs> I'm speak. I'm just... I'm so mad. I hate Tron. Oh, wait, have we got... Wait a second. So if he throws away his... Yeah. Has she activated? Yeah, she hasn't. Oh, hang on, there's hope. Sorry, there's hope. There's hope. Sorry, I was despairing. I had an extra discard up my sleeve. Right, so he's got Tron. And he's hoping to just draw another card and Well, it's still pretty bad, isn't it? I mean, he just plays Tron, kills Lily. Pla plays Khan, I mean. <sighs> oh, no, no, that was the card we knew about. All right, okay, okay, hang on. All right, all right. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Right. Now. The question is, do we wait a t <laughs> Do we blow up Tron with Lily now? Or do we 
wait an extra turn. So if he top decks, it has to be, I think, exactly Khan liberated. And there's only one more of them in his deck. He's got three in his graveyard. He could top deck Worm Coil Engine. If that happened, we would be very unhappy. There's one of them in his graveyard as well, though. Um, let's find out what's in his hand. Let's get that into the graveyard. Juicy. Um, I don't know. Whatever I do is going to be the wrong thing. So if I if I blow up Tron and he keeps mine and power plant, let's say, he can top deck only, you know, little piffly things like chromatic stars and. O stones and everything else. So I think it's correct to disrupt. I th I think it's correct to to do this. Um, mine is in the yard. Mine. Um, it might be uh, like that because we've we've already put a mine in the yard, so his chances of drawing might be the right thing to do. And then, like, yeah, I, I don't know. He could kill Bob if he draws a spatial contortion. He can just find Tron again <laughs> with expedition map. <sighs> yep. So, in hindsight, if we'd plus one well her plus one ability isn't even that great after the ultimate so oh, I don't feel that bad and he might not even have time because oh no he does yeah so he goes finds mine if he top decks Khan or Ugin here um, you know then he's golden he's, he's just golden and that's just the way it goes And that'll help against the rack as well. Yeah, it only takes two. So, he has to win this turn, basically. What was that card you drew? That won't do it. Okay. Game three. I'll be right back, everyone. Just pause the video here. Alright, we are back. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I still... I mean, I'm still not... Um, very happy uh, going into game three in terms of confidence. Uh, this isn't bad. Another Bob. That's useful. I think we'll keep. Um, and really, he, he won us that game. He won us game two. Without him, there would have been no hope. He dealt about eight damage. Assembly worker, what the... Oh, what does that mean? I can't... I can't... I can't Raven's Crime anymore. The party is over. I can do it once. But then that's it. Please have something. Whew. Sylvan or Expedition Map? It's got to be... See, if they banned Expedition Map, you don't have to ban Tron. Just ban that card, Expedition Map. It's the one thing that just makes them so... Consistent, you know. Did he top deck that forest, or did he have it? Th he went and found a power plant for his trouble. Okay. So Thor, not seer, and Khan are in his hand. Um, so if I do two discard spells here, he loses his two big things. Um, I don't think he plays Eldrazi Temple. What does this even do? Uh, Urza's factory. Is that even modern? I didn't even know that was in modern. For seven mana, you can make a, a token. Wow. Maybe that's why you never see it, because it seems kind of useless. Um, I'm dissing my opponent here. I'm sorry, Broin 2. I know it's a well-celebrated and loved deck, you know, around the world. Green Tron. I just loathe it. I hate it so much. So what I'm contemplating here, everyone, is Dark Confidant, instead of making him discard those two threats. My rationale being that I'll then have three mana. He he he'll only have three mana on his turn, and I'll have three mana, and I'll have three discard spells. I'll have bang bang bang, 
we, we can assume Inquisition is no good. So let's give that a try. Normally the Doctrine should be empty his hand and then play Bob, but I feel in this particular combination of circumstances we know exactly what these three cards are. We think we're safe from Thought Not Seer. Eldrazi Temple, here it comes. No, okay. And there you go. Okay, so we're, 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 we, we get paid. We get an extra card for our trouble. And what a card it is. <clears throat> yeah, no, this is good. This is very, very good. All right, so... This is going about as well as anyone could reasonably hope. So he pitches Khan. Um, maybe I did that the wrong way around in case that's a land in his hand. No? Okay, they're both just gone. Gone, gone, gone. Alright. So he's got work to do. And we have a Dark Confidant on the table. Alright, that's a start. Good job. Can't play Raven's Crime anyway, so there's no sense holding back on lands. Look at this, he's drawing us an extra card each turn and putting him on a on a clock. Okay, it's a ten turn clock, but like that's he's so good. Look at him. He's giving us a chance to win the game. And... Oh, yeah! Nice! Get in! You beauty! We beat Tron. We actually beat them. Fantastic. I'm really happy with that, everyone. Um, and what a wicked cool... What a wicked cool... Uh, like, a very, very good vindication of Dark Confidant. You know, at, at least in, in the sideboard. Like, have, have, him, have him there. Like... And you can see in this scenario here, we never could have done that with Asylum Visitor. That little move we did where we saw the three cards he had in his hand. We knew that we had the package we needed to destroy his hand the following turn. We floated a little bit. Probably the biggest card, the biggest problem would have been Mattery Shaper, I guess, off the top. And in the end, he drew a land. We got rewarded. And he just, I mean, I, I, I would back us to win most of the time here. Field of Ruin disrupts Tron. I mean, we, we destroy Urza's mine proactively while she ticks up to 6 or 7. So he's not getting to Tron anytime soon, except by doing it honestly. One thing he can do is get to an honest Oblivion Stone, just cast the Oblivion Stone and then the following turn blow it up. But I, I would say we would win this sort of 75-80% of the time from this board state. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, really, really happy with that. Um, let's go one more. Okay, he kept. Let's start off with the Thoughtseize. And we have a little tension here, the classic tension between Bob and Smallpox. Oh, careful what you wish for. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, very, very juicy. But we'll, go, we'll take the Serum Visions, and we'll just need to be very aware that he, he does still have the Grape Shot in his hand. So I have lost to this before. I mean, Storm is... It should be, in general, a favourable matchup, but I don't want to be too... bullish. He's just going to cast his other one. Um, what did he do? He put two cards on top. So he might have found land, land on top, which means we can assume he's going to uh, have mana for grape shot next turn. How sad are we if he grape shots Bob? I think pretty sad, because then he's just a one for one. Um, I could also smallpox here, which just feels oh mean. Although he's probably found a land, he plays that land, passes the turn. We lose quite a lot of momentum by doing that. I'd rather see a Baral or an Electromancer first. So, I'm just going to play a straight bat with this one. Mm, desperate. Okay. Mm. 
There it is. Okay, cool. So that opens the path for Bob. I don't think this thing runs lightning bolt. Oh, he's in two mines as well. Uh, given that I've drawn the dismember, I think it's just Bob and don't play the land. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. So if I play the land, I can dismember on during his turn. He can also remand. Yep, he's got remand. Okay. Opt. Must be what he drew off the Serum Visions. He liked what he saw. So given that he liked what he saw, I think we play the land. We can dismember Baral. I don't really want a smallpox anymore, obviously. There's Spire Bluff. There's Electromancer. Sure. Do you want to try and go off? Because now's the time. He does. Go for it, man. Good man, good man. So I think the, th the way to, to play against Storm is to kill him right now, uh, while the first piece of the combo is on the stack. I think I read that somewhere. Now he just needs to just desperately hope that he can make enough momentum, but I think it's it's almost impossible. Yeah, no, it's it's not possible. Ah, oh, brutal. Bob again, look at this, doubling down. Just like he did for us against Tron. Gifts ungiven. They're going to stay ungiven. Those gifts ain't going anywhere. They can stay on the bed, the blue lady, you can keep them to yourself, alright? Whatever's in those four little thingies. We have no idea what that last card is. Still don't have Rack or Shriek. But I've got twice as many chances of finding him. Okay. Ooh. Um. I'll oh, just blackmail. Oh. Like he's literally doing all the work for us. Yeah. Nice. Field does practically nothing. So I'll save it just on the off chance that he tries to hoard. Okay, we're going to see if we can back this up. So what does he bring in out of the board? What do we want to do? I think we want a Ley Line of the Void um, to stop past in flames. Yeah, no, he's just dead now. I think, I think, yep, he's a goner. Hopefully you'll concede here. Just give it away, man. That's it. Yeah, so Leyland of the Void definitely makes sense. Um, Past in Flames is his main route to victory and to happiness. Fatal Push is obviously better than Dismember... How many removal spells do we want? Ooh, I don't know. Bob. God, he's so good. Wasn't he good there? Just so good, so good. So, so good. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, one of the reasons why you play a kind of a, a tier 2 deck like this is for the joy of taking down 
something like Tron, something like Human, something like Storm. It's exactly where we want to be. Hmm. Um, so we're faced with a similar problem to what we had against the Tron guy. We can play Bob, or we can keep up the discard pressure. Now, my default is to actually continue the pressure, so looking at this, though, that is a bit problematic because we would lose two lands and put Lily out of reach. Um... But I think I'm still okay with that. Uh, we can bob the following turn. I, th I think I'm gonna be conservative. This is more of like this is the classic eight rack line you would take. It's like don't get fancy, don't be a hero. Make sure, as painful as what you're doing feels to yourself, make sure you do it anyway, because as as painful as it is, it's 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 the whole mission of the deck is to degenerate. And we're not afraid of hurting ourselves and our own game plan in order to disrupt theirs. And there we go. We have it. Yeah, we've get, we've put we've. Okay. Non-land permanent with converted mana X to its owner's hand. So for two mana, he can. Yeah, and then he draws a card off that. I think. Yeah, he can bounce the rack and draw a card off his repeal. But I just don't think three mana and three cards is enough to go off. And this is all totally fine. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah okay, well we are just going to play him now. He still needs to find stuff. So we can do gifts here, maybe. Okay, there he is. Two cards isn't enough, is it? It is! Alright, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, if you can do it, that's fine, man. So, you basically put him in a position where he feels he has to go for it. And maybe he can, I mean, it's it's an incredible deck, Storm, the way it can just... It, it can, literally, just come from absolutely nowhere and, and ruin your day. Okay, so I think we, we'll just play it. We'll play it on face value. I think we kill him while he's there to be killed. Um, we I should have done this first. Sorry. Uh, make you discard a card. I should have done that first. That was a bad mistake. get in and we begin a much faster clock so weird little bug there yep Bog doing overtime with these Field of Ruins. Like, this is just... Actually, it's, it's weird now, because I feel like we're actually a little bit vulnerable to Blood Moon, whereas normally I wouldn't be very scared of Blood Moon. Um, spreading Seeds, though, is a nightmare. Um, draw a card and wreck my mana base, but Blood Moon being a 3-drop, normally I'm not too worried about it, but... Um, okay, well... I don't want to cast it. Yeah, I don't really want you to have two cards, so I'm going to do this. And the card I will pitch is... Ooh. 
Uh, keep going forward. Yeah, and it's mana. Oh, and mana morphose. Okay, put two into the graveyard. So, passed in flames costs five from the yard. He's got one, two. If I put, if I was to put that in the yard, along with mana morphose, he gets one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Casts it, then has one mana left over. To do what? Nothing. He fizzles. So have the rituals into your yard. How's that sound? And then discard one of the cards in your hand. See what he picks. Oh, um, Lily. So now it's even harder for him because he has to. He has to feel like he's still got at least another turn, though. I can't deal 11 to him. Okay, sure. I don't think he can do it yet, though. I'm just going to try. Alright, I'm just going to F6 here. See what he can do. It's not easy. He's not actually adding any mana by doing this. He needs to find rich... Oh, he is. Should have made it maybe waited there. Yeah, he needs to get up to. F he needs like six mana to be able to cast Past and Flames. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. Well, we live to fight another turn. Because the smallpox makes him pitch that card. Lily goes to f five. Smallpox is brutal. Smallpox is brutal because it hits his land base as well. So, let's fight first. No reason not to. Yeah, Smallpox is sweet here. Horbitran. So I think uh, Slay Line of the Void, I'm still... Ooh, what an awful dead draw that was. I mean, we're way ahead and everything, but... Uh, you know what I mean, like... It's so swingy. I suppose at least I can discard it to uh, Smallpox here. That one damage will matter too, potentially. <laughs> Alright, he's got one turn left. No. Good games. He didn't... It wasn't a complete pushover either. He... he we had we had a bit of a bit of a scary moment there. Yeah, the game has ended. All right, sweet. Go first. I think we can keep. Um, I think we can keep. I don't love. Um, there's a little bit of a risk. Uh, of Thoughtseize coming back to bite us if he has Thoughtseize. But we'll keep and uh, and take that risk. Mulligan. Bottom. Wow, again. Two storms. Uh... It's just got to be Serum Visions, it just feels right.
Hope he hasn't found remand here. I doubt very strongly he has a uh, lightning bolt or anything like that in his main deck. He could grape shot uh, our lily. Uh, although he'd be using a lot of resources to do that. That's a nice draw. Um, I wonder if I want to activate first here. I think I'll thought these first. I think I'm going to take the ritual here. saying a lot here everyone because uh, there's not really a lot to say it's uh, it's all pretty much just playing out uh, playing itself out um, so we'll do that we'll get his land base down to two okay so you can have the electromancer And if you keep the Electromancer, I'm going to play Liliana and make you sack it. Uh, I, think that's, I think these are the piles. Just need to draw a rack effect, obviously. Wow! How about that? Okay. I actually didn't expect that. That's... Hooray. So if this is remand, I don't care. Cool. Okay, well, that's alright. That's fine. So what did we do last time against Storm? I think we definitely brought in our uh, graveyard hate. <clears throat> I don't know, nine seconds left. Okay, so he's going first. Pretty thin-looking hand. Um, not much discard pressure. Fatal push is useful, but we do need some help. Um, I don't. I really don't like this hand very much at all. Um, I think it's just a keep. Uh, we're on the draw, so he's also mulliganed. I think it's just barely a keep. One card on the bottom, okay. Pieces of the puzzle is quite bad for us. Um, just pieces. That's a pretty powerful hand, actually, if he can get up to four mana. 
uh, without us interrupting him, which, as you can see from our choice to keep, he can. Uh, it may have been a mulligan. It may have been the right thing to do. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Right. It's an awesome draw for us. It's just spectacular. Probably the best card we could have possibly drawn. Great. Uh, I think I like Urborg. And go again. Okay. So Empty the Warrens is no joke. It's He could cast it for, you know, with a storm count of two or three very easily, and then we're facing down six power and toughness. Um... Yeah, Monomorphos. Oh, Ritual. What have I... Oh, what's he done? He's discarded the thingy. Okay, yep, here we go. Okay, so there's four of them. Um, right. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Should I Fatal Push? I don't think I do Fatal Push. We're obviously going to win the race. So, I think we just let the race happen. So, if people aren't used to playing against 8-rack, sometimes what they'll do is hoard cards uh, to defend themselves against the rack effects. And that generally is is is, is a bad thing um, for them to do. So we have an interesting question here. We can Raven's Crime and hold up Fatal Push. We can Lily, and while it might be tempting to Swamp play Lily... I think I'd like to play around Remand, um, specifically. Uh, she also isn't doing anything more than the Raven's Crime is doing. So as sexy as she is, I think... Uh, I think the Crime is actually the right play here. Yeah. He really needed eight goblins to make it uh, make it a thing. This could be pieces of the puzzle, sure. Top five, put two into your hand and the rest in your graveyard, okay. So what did he take? He took Serum and Sleight of Hand. So we could Fatal Push here to take the clock down. I'm not going to be able to get rid of both of those cards. Um... Or am I? If I draw a swamp, I can make him pitch both of them. How worried am I about the clock? So I think if he finds Boral and plays it, he's just going to die to the to, to the rack effects. So I think I'm okay with just changing the clock. This is all right. A land is fine here. Oh, Inquisition is just as fine. It's just absolutely fine. Very, um, very one-sided these games have been. Um, okay, good games, man. Good games. So, not bad overall. Pretty happy with that. 4-1. Um, yeah. Storm is a, is a matchup we, we're happy to see. So, um, we got a little bit lucky uh, coming up against them twice. As I said, uh, I think in a previous video, I have lost a Storm before. Um, you know, in a in competitive environment. It is possible for them to come back, but... Uh, yeah, I think pretty happy with the new build, uh, the, the tweaks we made, and um, yeah, so look, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.